talked about increased recruitment, you know, the reality, you know, the hard facts, the numbers, uh, lower salaries, less support. Uh, one fact, Nick, that just blew me away, 35, 35 million dollars from the police department budget goes into non-policing functions. Now, I realize there's got to be peripheral issues. There is for everything we do. But when it comes to policing, certain things have to be done. They must be done. So I want you to speak, if you would, to the increased recruitment, the reality of what's going on, the total number of officers. They keep moving the numbers. They try to make it a, true. They, they, they move the numbers all the way around. It's very difficult to debate an issue if the facts keep changing. Well, the, 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 uh, the facts are very fluid. The department is very zealous in uh, maintaining secrecy. No one knows how many offices we have. But, you know, the city's narrative crumbles under the weight of its incoherence. Again, oh, we've got 3,000 officers. The insistent that we have 3,000. Well, why are only 1,235 in the bid process, meaning 1,235 badges in the patrol function? Where are the 1,765? Where? The mayor goes on record as saying, you know what? You guys are being browbeat, about, let me correct myself, pistol whipped for these compensation packages. Well, if we're 1,000 officers short and paid about 20%, 15 to 20% less than area cities, where are the monies going, mayor? Because Councilman Scott Griggs admitted to Mr. Roberts that the water department had a slush fund containing some some millions of dollars. Now, I go on record and I say this, I believe this, I haven't been able to vet it, but you protract that, that argument. And the fact is, when the mayor says to the lawsuit that will settle, we could write that check for 240 some odd million bucks, no problem. Well, mayor, how much money are you sitting on? And for what projects when the sanitation department is largely a contracted out phenomenon, you're a thousand cops short, there are no fire, I mean, we're short hundreds of firemen, antiquated equipment, vests that are just as old as can be. Where is the money going? Well, I submit to you, and I'll give the mic over. I know that the city is subsidizing the commercial real estate industry. I know that AT&T paid $249 million for their property, and it's on the Dallas County Appraisal District at about $48 million. Folks, I know that Dallas is set up constitutionally as a, a city that, for the most part, they have carte blanche in what they do with your monies. But they have an obligation to provide a policing service that they're not providing. They're simply not providing it. Now, I'll say this because it's so important. Warren versus the District of Columbia establishes that no one has a constitutional right to police protection. But based on the False Claims Act, an action can be brought against the city because the taxes you pay, you have a reasonable, legitimate expectation of a police response to your needs. When that response is not forthcoming, the city is in material violation of that statute and other statutes that are similar. You're taking the tax money and saying we've got a police department. Well, why in the world is the police department so abysmally run and so dysfunctional? 